Hello, and welcome to the BPOP PC EX software explanation video series. This video will cover the basic use of the BPOP PC EX software. So what we're going to do for this video is remake this notice video surveillance in use template. Before we start remaking this template, I want to go over some of the features of this sign and talk about some of the functions that can be used to make this sign relatively easily. So first feature I want to point out is this notice caption. So what we have here is a good example of inverse printing where we've taken a blue rectangle and put this lettering in the middle. When this prints on the actual machine, we're going to have this blue rectangle part printed and this lettering is going to actually not be printed. So it's just going to be the same color as the base sheet that comes out of the printer. The next feature I'd like to point out is this three-lined text box. So this is a text box that's going to use three lines, and I'll show you how to make that as well. Then the last thing we're going to add to make this sign is a video camera symbol. So this video camera symbol is one of the one th over 1,400 symbols and templates available in this software. So if you do have some free time later on, then feel free to take a look at all these new templates and symbols. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to move this original data down below the sheet so we can take a look at it while we rebuild our sign. First thing I want to do is get started on making this notice caption. So we click and drag a rectangle shape from this shapes menu here. And then we're going to double click on our data to bring up a properties box. Now for any object in the software, whether it's one of these design shapes or maybe a cut shape, some of the symbols or even the text boxes, if you double click on it, you're going to be able to bring up the properties box. So for the design for this design shape that's the rectangle, we're going to get the rectangle properties box. And what we want to do here is fill in this rectangle to make it a solid color. And then at the bottom here, at the color palette, we're going to change the color of this rectangle to blue. The next step is to add the notice lettering using a text box. So we're just going to click and drag that text box and then type in notice into the input text field. Now within the text box, as you can see, there's many different features. Uh, one of the things you can do here is choose from a variety of different fonts. This software uses all of the true fonts that are downloaded in your computer. So it can pull fonts from any, any program that's put true fonts into your database. So there's a, a large variety of fonts available. Um, but for the time being, we'll just stick with Arial. The other thing I want to do is make this bold. Bold lettering is very common to use with signage because it's easier to read than uh, narrow lettering. So now we click OK. And as you notice, uh, the color of these letters are blue, so it does not show up on the blue background. What we need to do is change it to transparent, this tape color. It's going to be the same color as the tape roll that comes out of your printer. Now I just adjusted the letters to make it look more like an official notice sign. And the last step is to center these letters right in the middle of the rectangle. So we have automatic adjustment functions for centering and spacing different objects in the program. And these are all located right here. The first thing I want to do is automatically center it vertically and then horizontally. When I, when I first did that, it was actually very 
difficult to see because it was already close to center, but if we do it one more time, as you can see, it automatically centers it relatively easily. The next thing we're going to do is make a three-lined text box. So same as before, we just click and drag out a text box shape, but now we're going to add video surveillance in use. Just a little bit more of an explanation about some of the features of the text box properties, but you can do bold lettering as well as italicize, underline, reverse order. You can also fix the position of that text box in your layout. All right, so let's click OK. We're going to um, put that text right into the design layout here. Uh, as you can see, the text is still coming in as transparent, so we're going to change it to black. And then we're also going to change the size. To change the size of an object in this program without changing the scale, without stretching it, maybe like that or that, what you want to do is hold down Shift and move one of the corner points. If you hold down shift, you can move that, change that object's size without changing its scale. So the last step for our printing data is to add this symbol here uh, of the video camera. So what we're going to do is come over here to our insert symbol icons. They're located at the top of the page on the right hand side. We have monocolor symbols and multiple colored symbols. For this particular example we're going to use a monocolored symbol. So when you open up the insert or delete symbol menu, you're going to notice that there's a drop down menu. This is going to be your general categories of very various different types of symbols, but the one we're looking for right now is facilities and other. When we come down here, we're going to go to the video camera icon and click insert. So it's going to automatically come into your layout like this, and then if you want, we can adjust the size of it to make it a little bit bigger as well. Maybe adjust the size of this text box or reopen the properties and set the letter spacing and line spacing to zero. That's also going to shrink that text box just a little bit. So the last thing maybe that we might want to do to this data to make it look a little bit cleaner is do some of those auto adjustment that functions that I, I showed you earlier. So maybe move this all the way to the left side and move this uh, symbol data to the right side of the notice caption. And then maybe if you really want to get specific, you can move this lettering and symbol data so that it comes exactly to the bottom of the sign. So after we've finished making our printing data layout. We're going to group it all together and then we're going to add our cut shape. The cut shape menu is located in the upper right hand side and you can choose from all these different types of cut shapes. Right now what I'm going to choose is a rounded rectangle. The rounded rectangle is good to use for signage and labels because having that rounded edge helps a sign or label last longer uh, because signs and labels tend to peel from the corners. So the last step to make this sign is to center the data for the printing inside of the data for the cutting. So we with both of those pieces of data selected we're going to do 
align horizontal and align vertically. And here we go, we have our completed template remade. So that's pretty much it for the explanation on basic use of the software. Uh, we want to thank you for using our BPOP system and uh, ask you to please take a look at our other videos. Have a good day.